Wow. I'm sorry I keep saying wow. Really trying not to. Good morning, it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, how are ya? Welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to show you this vlog. This is the fourth of the travel vlogs. It takes place in France, but we leave Paris. We go stay in the coolest abbey from year 1067. So it's almost a thousand years old. It's attached to this chapel that is still in use by this little town. The town is called Vaughan, right near Mont Saint Michel with a view of the castle from the property. It's just crazy. And we have just a very chill, beautiful fireplace, sit by, make lots of food, play piano and guitar type of Christmas. So I'm so excited to show y'all all the footage that I have. Before though, before I roll that footage, I wanna say a quick thank you and shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Thank you Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. This is how I've gotten my groceries. A lot of my pantry goods, also some beauty things, some things for Max, some cleaning things. I've gotten a lot of my essentials from them for years. I actually, just saw this today on my Thrive Market app. I have saved $834 with an average saving of almost $20 per each of my orders. I have a little grocery haul for y'all today. I have some snacks that I got to kind of come home to some healthier things and not just immediately order takeout. I love Thrive Market for so many reasons. They're a membership-based online grocery retailer. I pay for the annual, it's $5 a month when you do it that way. And then you have access to their pricing, which is discounted compared to in store. So I love this because A, I'm not going and driving to all the different grocery stores to find what I need. B, it's delivered to me for free if you spend more than $49, which I always do. And then C, it's cheaper. <laughs> like there's literally, it's a win, 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 win. I don't really know how they pull it off, but it makes my life so much easier. And they are a great way to shop if you have any sort of dietary restrictions or allergens because they have buttons to sort and filter all of their products. So you can say, I'm nut free, or I'm vegan, I'm paleo, I'm gluten free, I'm dairy free, whatever. You just click it and it will only show you the things that you can eat. So here's what I got. Olives, I love these little snack pack olives because I throw them in my purse and they're just a very healthy snack. A little salty snack. I got some cauliflower cheddar kind of stalks. If you've been around, you know that these are essential for me. <laughs> I love these so much. They're little chia seed packs. I like the Vitality Green Magic. Granola, easy breakfast. Also after travel, I really need fiber. <laughs> so I love these flackers. They have so much fiber. They're just flax seed crackers. Very simple ingredients. This is something new I wanted to try. I've been hearing about sea moss. So I got sea moss from them. I'm excited to try it. and see how I feel. These little bone broth instant mix sticks I thought were very interesting. This is my favorite protein bar brand, but I haven't ever tried these mini little cookie dough ones. So some Aloha protein bars. And then a couple personal house things. We got some more deodorant from Salt and Stone. Cast aisle soap, a huge thing of cast aisle soap. Whenever I get to work with them, they give me a link for you guys and it's always so generous. So this time my link is thrivemarket.com slash Jancy. And if you want to sign up, you get 30% off your first order no matter how much you order, order a huge box, save 30%, and they're gonna give you a free gift valued at up to $60 if you shop through my link. This has been such a hack, especially for travel. I was on the plane home just ordering my groceries and boom, it's here. <laughs> so nice, highly recommend them. Thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video and I cannot wait to show you Mont Saint Michel and the Abbey and all those things. So let's hop into the vlog. There are still some things that my pen just can't write Now I'm suspended in between my thoughts at night It's Christmas Eve and we just got off a shuttle to Mont Saint Michel, which is my castle over these salt flats. But this is the thousand anniversary of this castle this year. 
2023, it was built in 1023. And the spot we're staying at currently was built in 1067. So I can't wait to show you. Let's go explore. Just walking up to it. Apparently three million people visit a year and like less than a hundred people live on this island. And you can't walk across this by yourself without a guide because it is um, quicksand and people have been literally engulfed trying to walk across it. My photographer. I'm so excited to go and see this. I can't believe we can go on Christmas Eve. So cool. There is some construction happening currently, but here's the entrance. It feels like Hogwarts land. Um, just is this town just Should, called this? we get matching suits of armor? Matching suits of armor? Yeah. Yeah, maybe as like our wedding outfit. Yeah. Forget the dress. There's hotels here that you could stay up that way. I didn't even know that. I honestly didn't know there was a town here. I mean, I guess it makes sense to have a town around a castle, but I have tickets to go and see the actual abbey. So I think we're gonna try to do that now before it closes, because it's Christmas Eve. Um, I think they're closing a little early, so it'll be cool to see. All of this was built in 1023. Ah, oh, a lot of sure. Yeah. But like these roofs are newer. Yeah, they had to I'm sure replace them quite a few times. Yeah. Wow. A little guard tower overlooking the salt flats. Wow. All right, onward and upward. the official entrance. Oh my goodness, let's see how far we've walked up. Let's go look over this way. It's a lot of steps. Oh wow. That's a lot of steps we just did. It's me. It's Michael. You look like a Michael. Because it's me. <laughs> She's beautiful. Accent on the second I He's in the first family of Archangels with Gabriel and Raphael. So the top ones. The name signifies Kiris Kong Du, which is maybe speaking? Yeah, I'm through the castle and out the other side. <gasps> oh, wow. Look at the colors of the door and then the moss and the stone. It never ends. It never ends. 360 on my castle. <laughs> and here's what the inside of the chapel looks like. Oh. There's just so much detail for it being a thousand literal years old. That's what I can't, like everybody had to do this 100% by hand, carrying every stone by hand up this high. Wow. Here is a skull that has been preserved, and this is all in French, but we just did a rough Google translation. And uh, this guy's body was hidden in the ceiling of a monk's cell in 966, and then like later found. And now it's kind of a symbol of pilgrimage. Oh, he found it, Mont Saint Michel. Him. Wow, okay. Very important. He founded it. Dang, okay. Going down to a dungeon. 
wonder what's here next. Ooh. What's over here? Oh, wow. What's that? For, for the bridge? No way. So this wheel actually operates the pulley system thing that we saw down below. Big old wheels keep on turning, huh? The wheels in the sky keep on turning. They would pull those like sleds up with stuff instead of walking them up all the millions of stairs that we just climbed. I actually think this might be my favorite room yet. We saw similar ceilings to this at the Clooney, but not this massive. Then I have like all these little Christmas displays out everywhere right now. Wow. I'm sorry I keep saying wow. It's really trying not to. I normally am not a fan of gift shops, but this one's awesome. I'm gonna bring this piece of art home for five euros. And it says, Mont Saint Michel. And then I found Medieval Rosé <laughs> for Christmas. And Jordi found a cool beanie. It's cool, it has like, show the back. I think it's really cool. <gasps> More art. <laughs> I get to start to eat. Like, look at how good this gift shop is. This is a Saint Michel candle that actually smells so good but I don't think I can bring something that heavy home. In the amount of time we've been up here, the tide has come in, and so it's all, apparently it, the depth can get as deep as 20 feet when it otherwise can be walkable, which is pretty impressive. Au revoir, Monsieur Michelle. We diverted and came here. Oh yeah. It was okay. worth it. It's a great day trip. Now I can't wait to show y'all. I'll probably have to wait until tomorrow to show y'all the full inside outside of where we're staying, because I want to show you in the sunlight, so that'll be good. It's Christmas. Funny thing happened. I bought what I thought was a lifetime supply of yogurt for us to have this morning. Come to find out, this is two kilos of sour cream. So we're improvising. We have three eggs we can use. We're gonna try to make crepes. We have no way to measure it. And we have to do all the recipe math. So my cute mad scientist over here is gonna be uh, figuring out quantities. And we're gonna attempt to make some crepes for breakfast this morning. How's it going? We're figuring out a method. The gluten-free is hard. The measuring was by eye. I feel like no matter what, you put Nutella on anything and it's gonna be good. Oh, okay. All right. That's a crepe. Holy crepe. <laughs> we just finished exchanging gifts, which are all just little things we bought each other on the trip. Um, Jordan and I haven't done stocking stuffers yet though. We still need to wrap them. So I'll show you those soon, but I wanted to take the opportunity to show you where we're staying officially now that I have audio on these clips because we are staying in an abbey, which is basically like a house attached to a chapel that was built in 1067. So it's almost a thousand years old. This is the chapel. It's still a public chapel. So we have our private entrance on this side and then the town's entrance is on the other side. And then I'll show you inside the house, but I think it's six bedroom, four bath. I've been posting this on my Instagram stories and people are like, yeah, it's so funny. Like I'm from the UK, everything's this old here, but America is just such a baby country that you never see anything more than like a couple hundred years old. So the fact that this is almost a thousand years old and that we're staying in it is such a crazy concept to me but the most beautiful thing is the view from here. So I don't know if you could see, but beyond the shed, beyond our yard, all the way out this way, this doesn't have a great zoom on this camera, but that is Mont Saint Michel. That's where we visited yesterday and everything always looks closer in person. So it feels like that is just right there, which is really crazy to see. I'm gonna take you to the edge of the garden. I hope it's not too windy here for you. This little shed, they literally use it as a tool shed right now, but I think it's just so cool. And inside they have these really beautiful actually folding chairs, I think for weddings since it's a chapel. And Jordi and I are kind of kicking ourselves that we didn't just elope here because we're paying so much more for a backyard wedding in California than it would have cost to get married here with Mont St. Michelle in the background. We're like, oh, we messed up. We should have just done this. I was trying to tell the vlog yesterday that my soon-to-be sister-in-law, Mallory, 
she is her like biggest hobby she forages she has a whole instagram where she goes out into the woods and she'll literally forage like 60 pound mushrooms <laughs> and eat them and so she was showing me all the different things that i could eat around here and there's actually this one flower that was on one of the dishes at the michelin restaurant we went to in paris um substance it tastes kind of like cucumbers and it's really beautiful so this right here this is edible and it tastes like cucumbers, but since we're so close to the ocean, it's a lot saltier than it normally is back when we have them apparently in the US. This is all according to Mallory. It actually has a little bit of an oyster taste as well, which is funny since that was paired with oysters in that restaurant and we're making oysters tonight. So maybe we do that on our oysters tonight, but just lay of the land. This is our front door over here. This is our private door to the chapel. One other thing, this is a well and the water still comes from it. There's now pipes that go down in there, but we opened it up to look inside of it and that is where our water comes from, which is really cool. I'm gonna see if I can find anybody to give us the key to go in the chapel. They were supposed to have mass this morning at 8 a.m., but it didn't happen. So we don't know if they just changed their mind. Um, it would have been a Catholic mass in French, so I don't think I would have understood any of it, but we were all gonna go because it's what Christmas is about. But we're just gonna keep our eye on it. Actually, the parents' bedroom has a window that faces inside the chapel, so we will be able to see if somebody opens it up and starts the service, but let me see if I can find a key for us to go look inside of it. Jordy's getting the keys for the chapel, so in the meantime, I will show you. This is the dining room where we've been eating all of our meals, and here's the kitchen. We're gonna be cooking here pretty soon. I think that Mama Cersei's gonna make cake, and then we're gonna come in and make all the rest of the meal after that crepes went well through here we have the staircase i'll quickly show you the family room everybody's in it right now though because that's where the fire is a huge fireplace and then i'll show you up the stairs the staircase is like so grand doing a quick room tour while we wait for chapel keys but the funny thing is everybody's bathroom has a window that you can see through wait i'm going to show you my bathroom real quick here is my room it's a mess so sorry but like the ceilings the chandelier the stone and then we have had to tape this window goes into mallory and steven's bathroom we can fully see each other this window goes into mama and papa cersei's bathroom so it's really funny the layout of it all <laughs> just on a wall? <laughs> That's where that was. All right, okay. Anyways, let's go see the chapel. Public entrance, 24 hours a day. What does that say? Du Mont Saint Michel. La Chapelle. La Chapelle. Oh, look at the nativity all lit up. I wonder if they did have a service. There's fresh flowers. You think they did and we missed it? Yeah, look at the fresh flowers. I think we did miss it. Here's the ceiling. And that's the window that looks into Marjorie and George's bedroom. <laughs> so they could have watched church from their window. So anyways, that's the tour. Should we wrap stocking stuffers? Oh, are you finding flowers? Yeah, I'm gonna make some decoration. Aww. For stocking stuffers. We went into Monopri, which is basically like a Target out here. They have um, like a few beauty things, a few home things, some clothes, and then food. And Jordy and I said we're gonna run around and try to hide from each other and pick out four things as stocking stuffers a person. I am not feeling very confident in my things because, to be honest, I was overwhelmed by everything. But I got these chocolate oysters. <laughs> They look like they are in like an actual oyster box. I think that they're just regular chocolate. I don't think that there's like caramel or anything inside them, but I thought the packaging was cute. Then I got him some French hair wax. Then he's in PT for his shoulders right now. So these are on sale. These are technically yoga bands, but I figured maybe it could be good for him to like super light travel with this for shoulder stretches. And last but not least, this is my most wild card of them all. This is just a reusable um, like cutlery situation. I figured maybe he could keep it in the car for when he needs, um, you know, to eat something on the go. 
We're gonna do that. Tonight we're making four course dinner that we've planned. First course is going to be oysters. Second is going to be, I think, soup and salad. Third is going to be lobster steak, potatoes, root vegetables, roasted veggies. And the fourth is gonna be bouche de Noël with coffee. So that's kind of our Christmas plan. Uh, I wanted to catch y'all up on all the things that you missed previously, but we're just hanging around today. We may or may not go into Normandy tomorrow, depending on just like if we want more chill time or not to go see the beaches of D-Day. Um, but no matter what, I'll take you along today and tomorrow, but we'll just probably be kind of chilling. I'm gonna also take the day somewhat off because it's Christmas for crying out loud. the day after Christmas, it's the 26th. I think we've all decided to have a pretty chill day instead of drive hours to go see other things because it's been like 12 days of activities and we have an early morning tomorrow to get to Rome. So we've basically been hanging around the house. It's 1 p.m., had breakfast. You checking me out? Yeah. How do I look from back there? It's great. <laughs> but there's a cute town of Avranche. Avr Is that how you say it? Avant. Avon. Is that how you say it? I don't know if anything's open the day after Christmas or not, but we're gonna just go see if we can find a coffee and walk around the town a little bit because we picked up some groceries there and it's so cute. So just go see a little bit more of it, grab a little coffee and then probably have another night in by the fire of all hanging out, sitting in a circle, talking about life. Mont St. Michel's looking beautiful back there today. Can't really see her from here, but I can. Let's go explore the town. We've made it to town. And we're walking to a patisserie because I think that that's our best bet for a little coffee somewhere. I forget that out of Paris, nobody speaks English. And they had bouche de Noël, which we tried to make the other day and it didn't quite go according to plan. And I was like, oh, we should get one to like bring home for everyone to have one tonight. And she kept asking me questions that I thought I understood. And I answered something. And I guess she thought she understood. And I think we were having two completely separate conversations and now we've left with some sort of lemon cake. <laughs> but it looks good. And two espressos. So I'd call it a win, a mystery cake. <laughs> we're just walking aimlessly. We're kind of getting closer to the church. Maybe we go try to see in the church. Here's the church up close from the outside. It's really beautiful. This is like less than a mile from where we're staying and it's a really famous dairy farm. They make all the caramel here, but they have other things too. Uh, Mallory texted us and said she just spent like 120 euros on cider and caramel. <laughs> Look at all these fun things. Wow. And there's also like a museum of milk here. And we also found some local cider to bring to the parents. Whoa. This is so cool. Do you watch how they make it all here? You sit on a barrel and watch this? That's the making the caramel. <gasps> that looks delicious. What did you want to do? I don't know, I don't want to disturb our neighbors. I think you should do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Opa. That was really cool. That was such a fun experience and I have a funny thing to end off this vlog. We get home unpacking things. Jordy goes, oh no. And I was like, what? And he goes, I don't know how this got in my backpack. This is a key. Who knows how many hundreds of years old we think from the abbey we stayed in. So we are going to be mailing this back. But I'm like, did a little ghost child sneak this in your bag? How did that even happen? We think it's probably from one of the wardrobes because a lot of the wardrobes had a lock on it. But who knows what year this is from. Also is just hilarious because I don't know how that happened. And if I wasn't afraid of bad juju and stealing, that would be such a cool keepsake. But we are absolutely sending this back. So <laughs> thanks for coming along. We have one more travel vlog to go. Can't wait to show y'all Rome. 
it was so much fun. I wanted to say thanks again to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. Don't forget my code and my link. It's actually just the link is down below thrivemarket.com slash Jancy. Gets you 30% off your first order and the free gift valued at up to $60. I love y'all. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in another video very soon. So let's take all night, all night, all night, all night.